Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. Look at this. We keep on getting spooled day after day with beautiful weather here in Tennessee. Can't get much better than this for a good old video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the 2022 Lance 825 truck camper. The 825 is going to call for a three quarter ton truck. It also fits 150 series, 250 and 350 series trucks. So anywhere from your half tons to your one ton single rear wheel short bed models. Um, I know a lot of you, you want to say out there, hey, Brad, no 150 out there or 1500 has the payload for this. Well, I don't have a crystal ball Tell me what your payload is. I'm sure there's some out there. Um, it's your responsibility to check your door handle there, see what your payload capacity is, and then you do the judging. I'm just telling you what it fits. So this being the 2022 Lance 825, this is going to be the smallest four season rated camper that Lance produces. It comes out starting out 2,110 pounds dry with uh, standard factory equipment and 2,428 pounds wet uh, with standard factory equipment, of course. Now everything else that you add, that's going to wait to it, like solar panels, uh, the rear awning, backup camera, battery, all that stuff is going to add some weight there. We'll get the true weight on the inside of the camper here when we move on in there. The Lance 825 has a TPO nose cap. Uh, it's kind of like your car bumper. It's supposed to be very durable. Uh, I've heard that you can take baseball bats to these and not crack them. Don't do that at home. That's just what I've heard. It's a rumor. Uh, but they're, yeah, they're very durable. You don't have to worry about spider cracking and all that stuff on the front nose cap there. For 2022, they went to these double pane acrylic windows. Some people like them, some people don't. I'm one of the guys that does like them. I was a little jealous when my, you know, 2021 had the glass windows and then these come out with these. Reason being is these pop out a whole lot further. You were lucky on a good day if you could get your glass window out to about right here. These let a lot more light, natural light, and not the beer, I'm talking, you know, exterior lighting, and a lot more airflow through. That's why I like them. The mountain graphics on your 22 models are standard. Uh, the black accents are standard. So a lot of your stuff that used to be options for 2021 is now standard. Exterior, exterior patio lights, those are a two way, you got an amber and a white light. Right here's where they hide your 20 pound propane tank. We got any bugs hanging out in here? Probably not, this is a brand new camper. But uh, yeah, you got one 20 pounder in there. Comes with a exterior propane connection. This right here's where you fill your 30, 30 gallon fresh water tank on the go. Just put your garden hose in there, non-pressurized water. Hiding behind this little door we have the water heater. It's a six gallon water heater. This is the access panel for servicing. And then on the inside is where your tank is actually gonna be. This is what I call the hand warmer. This is where your furnace blows out. But um, in the winter time, it works great for a hand warmer. Maybe putting your shirt over it, warming the belly. Works great for all that. 30 amp side plug-in, camper comes with it. Underneath, you've got your, where is it? Oh, they went and hit it. Oh, no, there it is. You got your city water connection and then your, your black flush tank system. Parking satellite connections up top, right above you. You got a portable satellite dish, you can plug it in. For all my people that like to shower outside and give their campers a show, there you go, outside shower. It can also be used for you know, rinsing your dog off, rinsing your feet off, rinsing utensils that you cook with outside, uh, all that good stuff. Somebody wanted to fuss at me about my outdoor showering comment. But um, I'll say it again. So right here you have a little bit of storage and then same underneath. Storage is everything in a truck camper since you, you know, don't have a whole lot of it. So you gotta make, you know, the best sense of space as you that you have access to some water lines there's your sewage pipe holder of course you know you can't actually get a 20 footer in there i've had people tell me that they use it to store you know 
doggy poop bags, store beer cans in there, whatever you want to use it for. Or you can take it out and just not have it in the way in that little storage area. Manual rear awning, that is an option for 2022 models. Uh, the side power one is actually standard, but the rear one is an option. Then you've got your little backup camera there. That's on at all times, as long as you have power on to it and uh, plugged in and all. Uh, you, can, you don't have to be just in reserve, reverse to see behind you. You can check behind you while you're doing lane changes down the road, see if anybody's back there so you don't run nobody over. Docking lights standard. That's these lights right here. Rear patio light. The Lance logo's free. Keyless entry. Get that stupid sticker off there. There we go. Keyless keypad entry. External charging port. Uh, you can use this to jump the battery. Uh, plug in an extra solar panel if you wanted to. AC plug-ins. Access door for your main drops. Let's see. So you got your fresh water drain. That would be this one right here. Cold and hot water lines right here. Gray and black tank. Give me one second. And I'll tell you what size those are. I got it written down right here. All right, so you got a 13 gallon gray water tank, 14 gallon black water tank. And again, you do have a flush feature for the black tank there on the side underneath the city water connection. That's about out. That's about it for the rear here. Rear here. <laughs> Uh, side power awning, like I said, is a standard option for 2022. It has the auto wind sensing, so if it gets too windy, it'll bring itself back in. Also has a nice LED strip built in at the end. Got our outdoor speakers so we can tick off our neighbors. Another patio light. Like I said, look at this window, how far it kicks out. You know, people talk about them scratching easy and everything. I've had these for a year on my lot now. You know, different models of campers never scratched one you just got to be careful where you're going don't run into trees and stuff and you won't have an issue cleaning i clean them like i do every other camper most importantly here that i almost forgot to point out is you have all electric jacks around all four corners these are the happy jack 4220s and you have them wrapped around all four sides all right you're probably wanting to know also you know, what does this one of these things cost? This one retailed around 46 and some change. Don't remember the exact number. Uh, if you're gonna order one now, most likely gonna be a 2023 model. I don't quite know, you know, what's gonna be new for 2023. We'll figure out here when January gets around. But I do know that they start out at $49,839 standard. And then uh, you can jack them all the way up to 59.3 if you want to, you know, adding all these options lithium batteries, cell phone boosters, auto satellites, all this, you know, extra bougie equipment. So, uh, yeah, you can price one anywhere from 49 to 59. That's what a 2023 is going to be in the neighborhood of. I already received the updated 2023 pricing, so that's why I'm telling you 2023. 22s you order now, they're going to be non existent. You're not going to get a 22. So, um since i'm sitting here rambling let's head up to the roof all right we've made it up here on the roof these are fully walk-on roofs the 650s are the only ones that are not the 825 again it's the smallest four season rated camper and it has the fully walk-on roof right here you see our lance load rack system you can install kayaks up here uh, an extra storage you know uh what you, whatever you call them the yakima stuff up here uh, TV antenna, fantastic roof vent, that's standard, and then you got a 100 watt solar panel. Pretty much all it's good for is trickle charging the batteries. I'm getting kind of brave getting near the nose there. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the roof on the 825. I was about to take you guys inside until I saw this ladder. Um, this is something that Lance has been doing for a long, long time. The uh, little fat ladder on the back here, that's a PH, not a F. It's rated for like 350 pounds, I believe. It says on here somewhere. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I was just imagining things. 
I thought at one time I saw a rating for it. I believe it was 300 to 350 pounds, but this isn't your standard little rinky dink ladder like all the other camper companies have. This is the real deal. Holds me and I'm 211 pounds now. Uh, plus we're certified green, go earth. All right, so walking in here, you have your bathroom straight to the right. It is a wet bath. Wet bath meaning that you share the shower head and the toilet, which could be a good thing. It's like a built-in bidet. All these camper companies getting real fancy with it here. But yeah, you have more room in this bathroom area because they do the sink delete. Uh, the 865 has the sink. The sink in this one's right across right here. So big bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and get that box out of the way and I'll come back. All right, now that I have everything out of the way, we can move on. This is uh, the U-shaped dinette. It's Grayson interior. For 2022, you have three options. You got Grayson, Bronzite, and Lapis. Lapis is not an STD. It's a color of the interior. Real nice diamond stitching here for the Grayson. And then this also makes into a bed. Uh, if you make it into a bed, you're looking at 36 by 70 inches. Uh, somebody like me, I'd probably have to sleep diagonally with my feet hanging off at the end of it. But if you've had enough to drink, who cares? Up in the bed area, you have a 60 by... We got ghosts. Okay. Well, up in the bed area, you have a 60 by 80 inch mattress. True queen size. Uh, let's see, I believe they still use Serta mattresses for these. Of course that's going to be the other way that I want to see. Alright, tried lifting that up. Couldn't see the brand, so. Right here you have your swivel 19 inch TV. You can see it from the dinette, or you can position it back to the bed. You also have nice windows on both sides here. They also have dinette shade, or not dinette, excuse me. They have day and night shades. Dinette, day and night. Sounds about the same, doesn't it? But you have the day and night shades up there, so you can block out the peepers. A little bit of shelving space up top. Some space over to the left. You can put some luggage or, you know, make a make-do countertop for your books and all that good stuff. Uh, we got our ceiling titties up there. Just kidding, those are speakers. Uh, you can play the TV through those as well. Fantastic roof vent. Got our AC unit here on the top. That's the 11K Coleman. Three-way refrigerator. It runs on gas, AC, and DC. Microwave. I believe it's just your you know, standard size microwave. Brain should. Uh, you have your two burner stove top here. This does require a lighter to ignite, um, but most people camping is going to have a lighter on them. I always do. Here's your six gallon water heater. You have a bypass right here for the water heater. That's for a whole different video on winterizing and stuff, but your winterizing points are right here behind one door. You have a switch back there in the back that says winterize and normal. Normal is for use, winterize for winterize. Up is bypass for winterized mode, down is for use. Quite a bit of countertop space here for, you know, uh, a little camper that fits in the back of your truck. I'd say you have a little bit of prep area here for all you cookers out there, and then you can use the table over here for prepping also. I'm not much of a cooker myself, but, you know, much more than TV dinners and stuff, ramen noodles beer that's that gets me by now you have two ac outlets up in the kitchen area here for your crock pot instapot cure egg all that good stuff little sink here a couple pull out drawers that are non-slam that'd be hilarious if i said that when they slam another little cabinet spot up here radio and then your convenience center that's where you get all your battery levels, fresh, black, gray water levels, uh, water pump, gas water heater, electric water heater. So you can run it on AC or gas. And then right by the door, you have your closet. And then this is where I get all my true weights. So you're looking at 
2,539 pounds wet. Uh, let's see, subtract water and propane, 269 pounds. So you're somewhere in the neighborhood of, in the 2300 somewhere. Maybe my, no, 2200s. My math was a little off there at first, but it's okay. And my, last but not least, key rack. Rack them just like that, and that's how you do it. Get out of here before the ghost gets me. All right, well, that's all I got for the 2022 Lance 825. Again, that's Lance's lightest and smallest option when it comes to a four season camper, a fully walk on roof, all that good stuff. Comes with a pretty hefty price tag though. You don't have to tell me that, I already know. Uh, that, like I said, this one, 2022, it retailed around 46 and some change. Now, you're gonna take quite the leap headed into 2023. I don't know if that means that we're getting some new stuff installed or, you know, what's going on. Uh, new options, you know, you never know. Uh, we'll have to just wait and see and be patient until December, January rolls around and I get my first 23 models. But those are gonna be around the 49 to 59 range depending on what options you'd like to get. So that uh, kind of gives you an idea, you know, what to expect price-wise on, you know, any upcoming 825 models. Uh, but this one right here, made for 150, 250, and 350, short, uh, single rear wheel, short bed truck, short bed meaning six and a half, six and three quarter, not a five or five and a half foot bed. You're gonna have a lot of overhang with that. Um, these are designed for six and a half and six and three quarter foot beds. And again, I don't know what your payload is. If you have a 150 or a 1500 and you don't have the payload for it, you don't have to tell me, I believe you. Um, I'm just saying, I don't know what your payload is. I don't have a crystal ball telling me, you know, what everybody's inside door jam says. So that's for you to judge, for you to make the decision and, you know, make the educated, you know, guess, hey, yeah, this camper's gonna work or this camper's not gonna work. If it's not gonna work, find a camper that does. But uh, anyways, that's all I got on the 2022 Lance 825. Again, this is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. We sell Ranger boats, Lance truck campers. If you're in the market for a truck camper, you can give me a call at 423-892-6272. If you don't want an 825, you want something else, call me. We can discuss you know, what camper's going to best suit your needs, what's going to fit your budget, your price range, all that good stuff. We'll go over it go over the options all that good stuff if you like the video found it a little bit informative uh go ahead and like the video lets youtube know that i might know what i'm talking about might be enjoyable to watch something like that if you have any questions you can comment below or call me again that's 423-892-6272 uh, and then if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe we're headed to 25,000 faster than i thought we would now uh, let's go ahead and make that happen so uh you can also hit the notification bell in the corner if for some reason you want to see another video from me. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with the latest and greatest videos. So, yeah, that's all I got, guys uh, and girls. If I left anything out, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. I'll try to do better next time. So until then, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.